The trout, the trout, the trout in the towel with the wolf of the fish and they all ran away. The trout, he fucked them all. Oh, The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood... Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. Apologies, your lordship. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> no one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway right across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The King of the King no more. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You serve me well. There must be something you want. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire, fetch us more wine. 
Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Owe oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try Squire in for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. This is a job for a pig farmer. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? That's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrod. What's wrong? It's gotten into you. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Good luck.
Gator Raiders. Got it. Did you find Roderick? The Freys. They... they slaughtered him, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I... I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! My lord. That never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase is time to <gasps> go <gasps> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. <clears throat> Damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase? There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle, Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. Hey, it's those foresters! Oh, on your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Uh. With love, uh. Lord
Lord. Fresh. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. But it may be common, but at least still have us bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Have that sword, boy. Fuck you. survived your sister she hid I tried to stop them Kill the men who did this. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! 
Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Maester. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. Sorry, sometimes my curiosity gets the better of me. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. The Ironwood Grove. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. 
Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. No doubt he's tired, my lady. He said Lord Forrester was valiant to the end. And what of Roderick? He was with you as well. I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be Never sure it's strength. given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do, but now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. So what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe. Beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. Uncle... My place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you.
Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. I could only hope Lord Forrester wasn't wrong to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself I don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him you found me well done Ryan don't worry it's just a game Ryan a stupid game I don't like it he was worried you were gone I thought we'd never find you again I'm right here and I promise I'm not going anywhere I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and... and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gerard to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gerard. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. 
Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland, for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger, when we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun, but then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. I don't want to get angry. But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I'll throw him out the gate myself, if you let me. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men will Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur! 
No courtesies. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the Squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the King's peace, as his Lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men? And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your Squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Ethan made this for me. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Father, 
Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Later would be best. Of course. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck.
You can do this. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. The girl is here to explain herself, yet says nothing. My apologies, Your Grace. I'm sure it's just a momentary lapse. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? It is not her place to say, Your Grace. The girl must have an opinion on the matter. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she I would... I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace.
I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. That certainly took courage to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although, what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful...